We can, ladies uh, and gentlemen, uh, Nate. All right. What's up, right there? Give me a hell yeah. yes, sir. <laughs> right on time, the, brother. The we were just. Difficulties. I, oh, no worries. I had literally every problem you can think of. Well, you're here now, and that's all that matters. And uh, we were, I was just about to just be like, oh, they're telling me, you know, that it might be a little bit late. And I was expecting like an hour from now. And then literally as I'm telling a story, there you are, sir. So we appreciate you stopping by. We'll make it quick. I know you're busy. We follow up interviews a little bit faster. But sir, for those that may not know you, Nate, could you please properly introduce yourself? Let me know whereabouts in the world you are at the moment and plug anything you'd like. All right. Uh, well, my name is Nathan Reynolds, and I'm the lead guitarist and clean vocals for the band Shockwave Theory. Most of us are in southern Indiana. I am the one weirdo in the band. I'm from Central City, Kentucky. Hell yeah. Way to stand out, brother. I like it. <laughs> how uh, how it, can everybody follow you guys on social media? Is it just at Shockwave Theory on everything? Or is there anyone that has like a number? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, basically any social media platform that uh, that's out there, we have uh, we have some sort of account, and uh, and also any streaming service or any way that you can listen to music, we're out there on there too. You know, so Apple Store, Amazon, Pandora, Spotify, as you see, you know, so that we're we're everywhere that you can look. Excellent. I think that the last time we had you guys on, it's been a little while that we were we were talking about Jaded. And since then, Bleed yeah. Again's come out uh, with the name and title like Bleed Again. Why did you guys write this song? What is it actually about? Well, uh, it's uh, it's our longest song to date, and um, it was a uh, it's more of a uh, like enduring uh, where you're at. Like if you're in a uh, like in a rough spot, uh, it's about uh, enduring, being able to uh, take, you know, what life throws at you, get up and bleed again. So just keep on pushing, keep on striving, no matter like when the bad days are extra bad. That's kind of what you're saying, I think. Yeah, that, and that's and that's and that's what most of our music centers around is a is a positive uh, mental health, especially. In a like very that. negative situation. I like that for sure. Uh, Michaela, do you have a question? My co-host, Ava, is Michaela, a.k.a. Michaela Toes. Michaela, do you have a question for Nate before we check out uh, Bleed Again? Yeah, I was going to ask, um, what do you guys have in store for 2023? I know we only have a few days left of 2022, but what are you guys planning on for next year? Uh, well, we, uh, we actually have... Uh, we actually have quite a lot uh, in the works. Where uh, I haven't really been able to take a deep uh, conversation with the with the band about this, but we uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and, and blow the whistle. We are uh, planning on releasing an EP sometime within the near future. So definitely in 2023, you're gonna see a Shockwave Theory full EP, and we're yes. gonna have uh, <clears throat> we're gonna have uh, Two, possibly even three new songs. Let's go. Let's go. Breaking news. You heard it here first. Excellent. Yeah, and we have uh, and, and we have plenty of material already uh, lined up and uh, more or less ready to take the studio. So we've uh, even though we've been silent, we've been very hard at work. So when whenever whenever the new year rolls around, Shockwave Theory is ready to make Shockwaves. I like it. Let's rock. Let's jam Bleed Again, and uh, we'll have a couple more questions for you. Bleed Again. Yo, it sounds so good and chunky and fat in the in the mix, man. Who do, who do you guys go to for all your recordings? Uh, it is Black Cat, Re uh, Black Cat Recordings uh, Studios in Evansville, Indiana. Uh, our, uh, our guy, Steve, he's just incredible. And, I mean, you... You, you hear it for yourself. 
Yeah, it sounds it sounds really, really, really Chunk. dope, dude. For <laughs> real. <laughs> Michaela, Michaela's a guitarist. What, what do you think of those chunky, fat guitars in that mix right there? Uh, I love it. That's exactly like what I'm looking for as far as like heavy, chunky guitars. It's nice and thick. It just nice. cuts through cuts through the mix really well. Like everything's really well balanced. Kick drums punchy with the the chunks. Nate, for the for the EP and the the future singles, have you guys ever considered having like a like a feature or a guest vocalist or something on a track? We have, and uh, we've had a hundred different ideas, but nothing uh, nothing concrete has really come of it yet. Um, but we we are planning on on trying to uh, feature or feature others. Um, there is a there is a band that's actually been giving us a whole lot of help, and I'm going to give them a shout out. Is Heir to the Crown? Uh, that's a uh, that's another band here in uh, well in Southern Indiana that uh, they've been bros to us, uh, and they've been a great help and inspiration to us. And they just released their new EP, Apocalypse. So I'm I'm gonna go in and throw a shout out to them. Hell yeah. Air, nice. hell yeah, with the apocalypse. Air the crown. I like that. Uh, Nate, if uh, if all of a sudden a label comes along and uh, signs you guys, gives you just the craziest signing bonus ever, we're talking like millions, what would you buy? Uh, honestly, probably the first thing that I would do is make sure that my parents were financially set up for life. And I would probably invest my small piece. Let's say there's a lot more money left over, more than you can ever imagine. Now what are you buying? Oh, uh, well, uh, honestly, with that, I would probably just uh, live humbly, but uh, have the most uh, amazing gear collection you've ever seen. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm looking for yes. is, is all the gear. You spl yeah. splurge a little bit on yourself. I like that. Corbin's in chat, by the way. Uh, so what's up, Corbin? We see your brother. He's uh, the vocalist for for Shockwave. There, he's in chat right now. So if you guys are feeling feeling the music, show him some love as well. Uh, Nate, just a couple more for you. Who is? What's a piece of advice somebody in the music industry has given you that you're willing to share with maybe some small small local bands that happen to be watching right now? Uh, endure. endure. Even on the worst day, get get up and do it again. Even on the day that you want to punch your drummer in the face, go to practice. Forgive and forget. If you have beef, cook it up and eat it. There you go. Endure. I like that. With the jokes, like too. That. Advice and jokes simultaneously. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Michaela, what's a, what's a final question that you have for Nate? Um, What is your all-time favorite band or album oh big question um all-time favorite album or band even i gotta mm. think about that i would say for me that might be a tie between parable and uh maybe chimera so Tool yes. as the uh, album? Two, 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 very, two very different bands, I right. know, but... It's a good call, though. So uh, good, good choice. I love Khmer. Yeah. I love Tool. I've seen Tool oh, live yeah. uh, before, and it is it is the weirdest show, but it's so entertaining. Uh, have you seen Tool before uh, our, live, our, Nate? Our, 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 I, I have not. Um, our, our drummer uh, actually draws a huge uh, inspiration for his uh, for his style from them. Hell yeah, from Danny, that's cool. Yeah, when I saw when I saw Tool, the drummer was as close to the audience, like at the edge of the stage, as can be, and James Maynard Keenan's like as far back as can be, and he has a sil he has like a like a white sheet in front of him, like almost like he's in like a singular shower, and there's a light shooting it. So all you could see is the silhouette of him. We did not see if it was really oh, even cool. him the whole time. But uh, the show was amazing. Uh, that that, that was, sounds like something he would do. Yeah, it was really strange. <laughs> and the uh, the guitarist, the I don't remember his name, but uh, he like on his big, big solos, like the really long ones, 
it like all these lasers came and formed objects above the crowd and the lasers would like come down a little bit and like form a pyramid and the pyramid would do like this shape and then it was so strange but i was like dude this is awesome like that's so bad <laughs> it was pretty tight they show like that so I, I I want lasers almost more than I want pyrotechnics. Yeah, badass laser Those are really cool. Nate, my final question for you, sir, is when the EP that we just got breaking news about is coming out next year. I'm assuming it's a good six or seven months. Is that safe to say away from coming out? Well, we're we're going to try our best to make it sooner than that, but that's probably a more realistic timeline, honestly. So that leads me to my final question. My final question is, sir, would you please come back when the EP is out so we can help promote it and uh, just chit chat a little more? Absolutely. I'm looking forward to it. Hell yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please hopefully, support Nate. What's up? Oh, I was about to say, hopefully I can bring some of the guys with me next time. Yes. Well, that would be, that yes. would be really cool. We'll, <laughs> we'll do a little bit of partying, maybe a, uh, beer or two a shot drink some hot sauce we'll see how it goes but nate you're awesome man thanks for kicking in with us for a little bit we look forward to the ep coming out in roughly six or seven months ladies and gentlemen shockwave theory yeah, hell yeah. enjoy your day brother Thank you. Thanks for having us. Peace, dude.